Welcome Leo to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 20th of May for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. On the screen now I'm showing the event chart right at the start of the week. And you can see your ruler, which is always the critical thing, is just preparing to move into the sign of Gemini. That occurs on Tuesday. But you can see it's just moved over Jupiter. Late last week, you had an opportunity to showcase your talents to someone influential. It may have been through an informal conversation. You may have got just chatting to someone uh, in a bar and the impression you made was very, very strong. It could have been in a romantic context, but I think most likely it's in a worldly one. So whatever you want to manifest in terms of your career and ambitions, as you come into this week, some very big and important developments may be breaking. Now also Mars, the planet of passion, is in a very tight alliance with the North Node as this week begins. If you need to open up your world in some ways, the instinctive energy of the North Node, which is guiding us all of the time collectively, could just see you right on the money, particularly as Mars is very much about having the confidence to take the action to change something quickly. Now, you, you know last week that Mercury moved into your 10th house. Great for any kind of training or reskilling or talking or, or, or reaching out to anyone influential, but it did square up with Pluto. And that means that as you start this week, there could still be a little bit of tension in a close alliance if they're not quite as engaged or convinced about what you want to do. But your personality power is absolutely massive as you come into this week, uh, Leo, and that is going to reverberate out through the week. But the way you deliver it will be slightly different because by Tuesday, the sun moving into the air sign of Gemini for you is your sector of friendship. It's also your future hopes but it links very powerfully to Pluto. So where's last week Mercury and Pluto clashed? This week, the Sun and Pluto forge an amazing alliance. Pluto's about transformation. Your links to others can be extremely potent, but also on Thursday, Venus, the planet of charm, but also of relating, joins up with the Sun and also starts to link to Pluto. It becomes exact on Saturday, but it's the first time it's happened for over 220 years across these two signs. Also on Thursday, we have a full moon. Full moons can often bring something to the surface that's awkward, that's not quite in alignment, because the Sun and the Moon are actually competing. But this is one of the most potentially providential uh, full moons that I can recall for some time. Again, Pluto's informing it in a very constructive way. Pluto in your set of relating. And then Jupiter itself, the ruler of Sagittarius, joins up with the Sun and Venus in Gemini for the first time in 12 years, and again, links to Pluto. That does become exact on the 3rd of June, a day when Mercury also moves into Gemini too. So over the next 10 days, something that you've been building up in terms of your determination, your picture of how you're going to uh, manifest a talent uh, that's important to you, a, 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 a product, a service. It doesn't matter whether you work for someone else as long as you're really engaged and motivated or if, or if it's something for you. But if you are a very creative and demonstrative type of Leo and enjoy performance of any kind, for sure that can gain recognition as much as working extremely hard in your professional situation as well. But all this 11th house energy that comes in it's very much about rising above sheer ambition. It's more about your ability to connect to people through ideas, Gemini, an air sign, Pluto in Aquarius, an air sign, and forge really important alliances. It doesn't have to be about romance. It could be with Venus in the mix, but essentially it's about the big picture and it's about a real sense of excitement and the momentum that you're developing at this time can be absolutely sensational. Is, is there a caveat? Well, I think it's just about that part of your nature that can be a little bit cautious about starting anything new or sticking with what you know best is very comforting. But you're really being asked to go for it. 
to take a giant step forwards because you are the, the master of your destiny. And if you really believe that, you can make a sensational difference to your situation. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Leo. I hope you have a great week. And remember, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so now and help to support its growth.